Hello everyone, Pally Time here, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3! Last episode was a doozy, wasn't it? Minthara, because she walked too far away from my party, ended up inciting all of the aggression that Moonrise Towers has to offer against her. At least on the first floor. Basically, every single guard in here was pissed. Now, it's been a few, ep a few days since I've recorded that episode, so I have seen your guys' comments. I tried traveling away to a different region to see if it would fix this. Breathe deep. Uh, as you can see, move. it did not. These guys are still hostile. And it doesn't say temporarily hostile anymore either. It just says hostile. So Andy shows up as red on the mini maps. These guys are mad at me. Uh, I traveled uh, uh, back to Act 1. I also tried sleeping. Neither of those things fixed this situation. So in today's video, I guess we're going to have to fix it ourselves. If you guys like combat, this is going to be a very combat-driven episode. We are going to have to come back here uh, at the end of the act. Normally, if you were following the Harper storyline, um, you have a bunch of assistants in taking this place. You basically have every Harper NPC all rallying together to fight back against the Absolute's forces. We just have our party right now. Granted, my party might be the strongest one I have ever made. So I think things are going to go okay. Now, this is not what I intended to do with my time today. This, uh, I'm very surprised that they're mad at me. But we'll see how it goes. Wait, he didn't see me. <laughs> Wait, I passed a stealth check. I got another shot off. So these are the front gate guards. I am going to do a slashing flourish on the two of them right now. 34% chance to hit the first guy. It was a critical miss. Also noticed I'm not getting any fears against them just yet, am I? Well, they are already in combat, so let's get into combat too. We are gonna fire off a ray of frost at the melee combatant on the right side. That will slow him down, make it more difficult for him to actually approach my party. Uh, we'll go ahead and get Shadowheart involved in this as well with a Sacred Flame on the Zealot on the side, giving him those radiating orbs and making him less likely to land attacks on us. That's all I'm going to do for right now. We are going to have some zombies moving down both sides of the main walkway here. These zombies shouldn't do too much damage to us, especially if we can get a Swirly Whirlies out. Guardian of Faith. You know what? No, you don't get to do that. You know what? You do get to do that. Because apparently my counter spell I did a level three counter spell. Oh god, Minthara's just getting the shit beat out of her now, too. Okay, we're pushing up out of the Guardian of Faith area. Uh, we're going to see Dungan just go all out with a double slashing flourish here. Here's one shot on the caster, one on the ghoul in the back. And now he's going to do the same same thing, slashing flourish, one on the caster, one on the ghoul on the left. That was a death save, so if I... Uh, I don't have any mind abilities that just straight up do damage to that. I guess Repulsor does, and I can use it as a bonus action. It'll also knock everyone else away. Man, I hate that it's an AoE. Okay, we'll go ahead and end our turn right there. How does the Guardian of Faith work? with my vampire being right here. Can I just jump right on in and it's no big deal? <laughs> Hi. Oh, do I not get a turn? No. Okay, Dungan already shot, so he is going to stay right there. If he moves, he actually gets an attack of opportunity, which I'm kind of surprised by. Uh, we'll go ahead and end that. On Shadowheart's turn, we move up and smack the Adept. Never mind, we missed. That's embarrassing. Let's go ahead and do a... I'm actually going to do a Chromatic Orb of Ice on the left. I'd like to hit both of these guys if I can. Hey, at least one of them fell down. We'll take that. The other one frightened, and it can't approach us anyway. So these guys are both basically crowd controlled. We're going to stay inside of the range of that Guardian of Faith. As long as we don't bother it, it won't bother us. Is that correct? I guess it already hit me twice, so I suppose that's not entirely true. One snarl here, and then a dash comes for our party. Guiding Bolt being cast this time. It's a level one spell. The reason we didn't intercept it before was because it was a level four spell, and we used a level three counter spell. 
The psionic backlash dealt enough damage to just completely remove that caster from the game. But oh my god, speaking of damage, the melee dude is back and he is angry. Asterion swings and it causes an explosion, which ends up killing the guard that moved up to attack us in the first place. Uh, Asterion's going to walk forward just a little bit more. He does not have a bonus action on his turn. Dungan's going to fire at the first ghoul and then the second. Another parasite collected. Wait. It might be useful. Another parasite? Where? Where, Duncan? Show me. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we're definitely taking that. Wait, does this guy have one too? Oh. Oh, okay. I don't feel bad about this at all anymore. Duncan's about to get super fucking strong. Everyone's going to take a short rest, and everybody is going to... Uh, sneak around to the left side here, I think. Duncan's the only one sneaking, so let's stop that. Let's get moving. Over here, there should be another Mind Flayer specimen if we make our way far enough around. It looks like we have to jump over a log. Uh, hopefully, Duncan can do that with his negative strength. Oh! Okay, so I guess not the spot I was thinking of with the Mind Flayer specimen. Maybe that was upstairs. But this is going to have fewer people here to fight us than walking through that main gate. And as you can see, just everybody's mad at us, unfortunately. I am going to start this fight off with a Sacred Flame. Uh, how far back are you, Shadowheart? Oh my goodness, very far back. If I can get her to jump ahead of everyone else, I would very much like to do that, but it doesn't look like that's actually an option. Uh, Dungan is going to fire off a shot onto the true soul inside this room. The one telling the Wargans what to do. Or the Knolls what to do. Um, Minthara is going to take a step forward and cast Ray of Frost onto that same true soul. Now they are feared and frozen, or at least slow. They're not going to be moving towards us literally at all. Asterion is going to move up to the doorway and take Dungan's spot. And then let me dash Shadowheart up here too. That way we can just keep these guys at bay and we don't have to worry about too much incoming damage. Uh, I'm just going to close the door and let them come to us. That's the play. We do see dashes coming out as a direct result from that. Now, if we would have left that door open, we would have been shot by all of those bows. Just like that, just like that right there. Let's charm that target so Minthara can't be shot again. The charm was not successful. Oh, she shot one more time. I'm debating how many spells I really want to use here on Shadowheart because we're going to need to Swirly Whirly a lot, but we only have, what is that, five total casts of that if we don't do anything else. Uh, I'm going to Sacred Flame and we should get a really nice explosion of radiating orbs if it does land. Unfortunately, it did not. Let me go ahead and rage on Asterion. He's going to take a half step forward and then do his cleave. I hope it hits all targets. I can't tell if it is. Looks like it only hit two, but we took the door down, so we're not going to be line of sighting behind that anymore. Reckless! Reckless! Okay, that was actually not too bad. We didn't kill anybody, but they are all extremely weak and still falling, funny enough. We then see Dungan shoot Barnabas and then Timothy. Oh no. Oh no, Minthara casts her Ray of Frost. Oh, is he dead too? They all died. She casts her Ray of Frost onto the true soul in the next room. There's a parasite and we take that corpse. them down. There's a parasite on that corpse. Oh boy. Now I don't have too much inventory space. Was that a barbed arrow? Inflicts a lasting wound. Oh, those are cool. I didn't know those existed. I've never bought oh yeah, I've never bought any of those from any vendors or anything. Okay, where are all my parasites at? I forgot they don't even go in my inventory anymore. They just get added to the brain. Um I would like psionic overload. Yeah, we need that. We definitely need that. Charm seems really good. Minthara already has charm. And I also think grabbing ability drain here could be really good too. One, two, three, four more slug spots is all we have in our brain right now. <laughs> Dungan really is embracing 
the parasite. So I am concerned that it is showing me enemy zealots on the top floor now, and I don't love that. I'm kind of peeking through the walls here with the mini map just to kind of see what's ahead of us here. I'm gonna have Dungan break off and open this door on the side. Araj is in the next room. Araj shouldn't be mad at us. It doesn't look like she's mad at us. And I'm hoping that she won't turn hostile or anything. Oh, is that a Mind Flayer Parasite right there? Thank you. I'm taking that. I'm taking that from you right now. The cat glares <laughs> at you with utter hatred. You took the tadpole, its prey, and it will remember this slight. Okay, see you later. Is this cat related to the one that's in the last light in? Okay, so a Raj is good. Raj is still fine. I think. Oh my God, so I do still have a vendor. Oh, that's so good. I love having vendors. Welcome back, true soul. I am very, very thankful for this vendor. I'm passing off a lot of stuff that was just taking up room. We also found these superior healing potions for the first time, giving up to 40 HP back. Thank you, Iraj. I was worried that we would miss out on her Act 3 stuff as a direct result of this, but it looks like we still have some friends inside of Moonrise. And that guy, that guy right there, he's our friend too. I've never seen that guy before. Whoa. Is it the spot marked on that map? Whoa. We have a quest marker for hidden treasure here. And Astarian noticed this cracked wall. I was just moving around to try to get through to the other side here. Wait, why aren't you dealing any thunder damage? It's because it's sturdy. Okay, I'll let it slide this one time. Uh, if we use a mace, we should be able to break this down. It's just immune to slashing damage. That blunt damage gets through no problem. Never looted this chest before. Don't know what to expect inside. Arrow of transposition, an arrow of darkness, a bronze chalice, and some gold. How exciting. Everybody get down. Next door here, I think, I think we're on the other side of the jail. So this is like the back room. Wait, there's guards in here that are fine with me being here. <gasps> Okay, so I have more friends in here than I thought. That's just a zealot. I do still have Roa Moonglow as a vendor. That's probably the best news we could have asked for. Okay, I'm gonna get a little closer to the jail. Okay, so guards here are mad at me. And it looks like Roa Moonglow just decides not to get involved in this conflict. So it's these random civvies all around me, <laughs> these pilgrims, <laughs> and this one guard. Okay, let's see how that goes for you guys. Let's see how that goes. Um, Shadowheart is going to dash. Get up to the door and close it. We might get other guards joining in. Okay, so we do have a second vendor involved in the conflict now and a few more guards coming our way. I still think we're fine. Uh, I am not gonna do anything else with my turn though. We're gonna stay right there. Asterion's going to close the door to his right. And then if he can crowd this one, I'd really like to. Ready for Other than that, we're just getting ready for the tide. We're not doing too much here. This is a v extremely safe place to fight because these stairs here count as a zone line that enemies can't follow me on. So they will literally just walk up to there. And then if I go downstairs, it's like I don't even exist to them anymore. So we have our first big run forward. Bless being cast. I don't think we need to do any damage to that guy for casting Bless. Would have been really funny if we broke his concentration there. This Alkalite's only level four. They do have some level eight guards out here. Uh, we are going to do Warding Flare. Try to mitigate some of that incoming damage, and it looks like we did. We fired off a radiating orb at these guys because they missed their attacks on me. And as they continue to miss these attacks, we're getting even more radiating orbs. The guards in the main audience chamber are moving towards us, and they are at a bad location. Uh, just because they are so close to Dungan. I was hoping that these guys wouldn't get involved in this fight. 
I am going to counterspell that Guardian of Faith. I do not need a Holy Warrior sitting here in the middle of my party. No, thank you. I'm sure they will try to do that again, though. Hey, like right there. Luckily, it's only Dungan in range this time. 20 damage to Dungan, though. Okay, so Shadow Heart is totally fine here. I genuinely think she can deal with all of this incoming aggression. No issues whatsoever. I love that Ro is just hanging out like nothing's even going on here. So we are going to cast our Swirly Rillies with Radiant Damage. We're then going to run that damage in. He won't hit me, dude. No fucking way, dude. How long until he knows that? I can't move yet. Thank you. Okay, and then we're just going to move up. Spread the light. Um, that is going to be my turn. I need to make sure I don't advance too much further there. Uh, Asterion is going to, if he can, I would love to leap over this guardian. I don't think it's the biggest deal in the world if I just attack it though, to be honest with you. We're not raging yet, so let me start that. And then we're going to use that rage to lash out at this holy warrior. My thought process being, if it hits me, it's going to deal the same amount of damage to itself. If I hit it like that, it just goes away. And then I can block this door with Sterian and protect the rest of my party, I think pretty well. I am kind of sad I don't get a great weapon swing. Maybe that's because I raged. Oh, and that is because I raged. I did get a great weapon swing. Okay, we are holding the left side very, very well. We just kind of need to keep this aggression to the right kind of in check right now and i think how we're going to do that is by casting ice knife on the adept on the stairs get a little bit of ice underneath them oh my boots were unequipped oh okay that's unfortunate i was going through some of my bags earlier and it showed those boots just kind of sitting sitting in my inventory and i or sitting in a bag in my inventory i was like you don't belong there wait shit now i don't see a mini god come on come on okay Okay, okay, Minthara's turn is done. Dungan is going to step towards Minthara and fire off a shot at the Zealot to the right, dealing 19 damage with his first shot and 17 with the second before he backs up again. Uh, we still have knockouts on. That is so bizarre. Okay. We'll go ahead and end our turn right there. Now the previous vendor moves in and hits Asterion in the back of the head for six damage. That second swing does not connect. The caster in the main room walks into the Swirly Whirlies. They must be casting something big, Guiding Bolt and Asterion. I don't think we need to counterspell that. I will warding flare it at the very least. 15 damage, he's gonna be just fine. He's gonna be just fine. The Acolyte next to Shadowheart begins moving a little bit. He's trying to cure wounds on the Pilgrim. The Pilgrim has 10 HP. He just did a lot of healing on that guy. Uh, we have, what was that? Minthara failed a saving throw against Zealot Munish. It was some kind of command ability, I, th I think. So the eyes are calling reinforcements, but there's a guard right next to the eye that's not in combat. This entire situation is just so bizarre. Asterion is going to cleave to his left hitting the door, and hopefully <laughs> at least one of these people next to him. If we hit the vendor again, he'll die, and that'll give us another swing specifically for our zealot friend here, who dodged three attacks in a row. Duncan sees that happening, and he fires off a shot of his own. It connects for 20 damage. I'm then gonna go for the Adept behind them. I connected for 17 damage and land a Fright against them. So they really can't even advance against us. We're gonna put some ice in the doorway for the Adept moving towards us. And then if I could close the door, that would be amazing, but I can't quite make it that far. Shadowheart is going to move towards the door again. Just let those Swirly Whirlies do their job. Um, let me, let's just swing. No reason to do anything fancy there. We're totally fine. Dungan's in a great spot. 
and I'll go ahead and end my turn. The Adip casts Hunger of Hadar. That is a level three spell. We're not gonna let that one happen. We're also gonna deal a little bit of damage with that psionic backlash as well. Attack of opportunity, we're gonna take it. Nice. That, sh oh right, we don't have our, our holy damage weapon yet. I was gonna say that should have applied some radiating orbs. We see another cure happening from the alkaloid as he tries to help the pilgrim that doesn't have anything, that doesn't have any health. I'm afraid to move over there because I'm afraid it'll get the other vendors involved in the conflict. Oh my God, Dungan just took 27 damage to the face. More guards are starting to get involved now and they're making their way towards our room. Okay, we shouldn't be attacked anymore at least. Guardian of Faith is in a terrible spot. We can let that sit there for pretty much ever. Let's cast a level three healing word onto Dungan. We can heal the hear the words through the wall. At least that. That was goddamn seven health. Oh, that was fucking awful. Holy shit. The pilgrim finally died though. So at least we're not casting any more spells on him right now. Oh, jeez. I mean, at least it was a bonus action and not a main action, but holy moly. That's pretty horrible. Uh, I'm considering casting Fireball on these two over on this side. Instead, what I'm going to do is just Sacred Flame the melee dude. The idea being we want that... Uh-oh. Woo! The idea, we want that um, uh, debuff on him, the Radiating Orb debuff, as he moves up. So that was Shadowheart's turn. Not the most effective I've ever seen. Asterion is going to run towards the caster and recklessly attack. Huge hits here. We should see the death save kick in. And then that gives me another swing. Wow, we counter the Adept build pretty hard. Um, uh, who is still hostile? I can't tell the status of these guards up at the top of the stairs, but obviously this guy's pretty hostile. So we're going to just walk towards him with the rest of our turn. Asterion has plenty of health. He should be fine. Minthara is going to protect the room that she is in by stepping forward and casting Gust of Wind. If I aim it correctly, we won't hit Shadow Hearts and we will send this person back into the Swirly Whirlies. That's exactly what we saw there, perfect. And Minthara is just going to step to the side and end her turn right there. Dungan is going to move up and I think drink one of those new potions that he bought. Eh, we could probably drink one of the old ones. No reason to use the good stuff. We're fine, dude. We're totally fine. With the rest of his turn, if he can see anything, I would love to attack it. But it looks like uh, the only target I can see is the Adept. First shot should trigger Death Ward. Second shot should kill. Perfect. Temporarily hostile. Wait. Wait, no, 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 no. Rowan Moonglow should not be hostile. Rowan Moonglow should not be hostile. I'm about to literally bail out of this fight. So, and look at this for no reason. This person that wasn't hostile before, this ogre just starts running towards my party like a bat out of hell. Uh, Sacred Flame, we are not going to counterspell that. Shit, we do need to get out of here. We do need to get out of here. Shadowheart's taken a ton of damage. Oh, Shadowheart's down, saved herself, and she might be back down again. No, she's okay. She's okay. So this is looking like a get the hell out of dodge kind of situation right now. Uh, guiding bolts will backlash, not do anything else. Improved warding flare. It missed, beautiful. So Swirly Whirlies are down. That's probably the scariest part. So these do say temporarily hostile where the other enemies do not. Uh, Asterion on his turn is going to dash. Oh, this is still Shadowheart's turn, I see. We're going to Sanctuary then. So she can't take any damage other than AoEs. And she's going to do her best to sprint to the next room. And that's exactly what she did. Never mind, she can't reach this. Oh my goodness. Roa Moon Glow is now still fighting me, but it still says temporarily hostile. 
Um, we're gonna end Shadow Hearts turn right there. Oh, Rowan Moonglow is going next. Good, good play, good play. I like that. Uh, let's dash for Asterion. I was used to my entire party going at the same time. He only gets one attack of opportunity, right? One reaction. If I could trigger the reaction right now, are you seriously telling me I don't have enough movement to get to these stairs? That seems outrageous. That seems ridiculous. Both of my characters right there. Wait, can I help with a mobile flourish? Uh, thrust your weapon with enough force to push your target back. Afterwards, you teleport to the target. I don't want that. Uh, um, we're gonna need to protect this door while we try and flee down to the doorway beneath us. One easy way of doing that might just be like trying to put the ogre to sleep, but she doesn't have an attack of opportunity. So I guess Dungan can leave and Minthara can follow right behind. Now I don't feel great about Shadow Hearts HP. She is in a sanctuary. Um, that will help, don't get me wrong. But one thing that will also help is if I throw a potion at her, I just split this item really fast, give a couple to uh, Minthara, and when they're added to my inventory, where'd they go? When they're added to my inventory, I should be able to just press X, and if I'm lucky, which I never am, but if I'm lucky, I might be able to throw it on both these guys. I didn't throw it on either. So that's about the luck I'm used to having. We'll go ahead and end our turn right there. And Asterion's turn two. Unfortunately, that means his rage ends. Um, slam on Minthara needs a 22. Uh, we could just shield that and that should be totally fine. Shield more than protected Minthara there. The tide is starting to get pretty big. But I think everyone should be relatively okay. Now, the real question is, do I have to go to sleep again to get the temporarily hostile thing to turn off? Do I need to travel one more time to get temporarily hostile to fade? Oh, I'm frightened. Wait, what? You could do that? Abjure enemy frightened, look at that. Cannot move. Frightened enemies also have disadvantage. I thought it was just I can't move towards enemies. I thought I could still move if I was running away. Well, we have the one caster in front of the door. This guy's too far away. So one more potential spell that might mess us up. If a Starian can't leave, that's really, really bad. Please don't cast anything too gnarly. It was just a dash. So that should have been his whole turn. Okay, I'm gonna try to move Asterion first. Please. Oh my God, he really can't. Doesn't this make me immune to fear? Enter a rage. R does rage deals additional two damage? Crap. I don't think it'll work. I'm still gonna try it. I can't even fucking attack anybody from here. Uh, so I'm going to start throwing javelins instead. Uh, first one is going to the caster. In the, nah, I'm going to go for the ogre. It's the only thing I can hit. Okay, Minthara is going to try and squeeze by here. She is going to take some damage. Actually, let me move Shadowheart first. Make sure Shadowheart is safe. I like how she stole the potion there right at the end. Minthara is going to follow up next. Attack of opportunity, and you know what? I'm going to gust. And of course, the guy I was trying to kick away with the gust, it didn't work. And it still provokes an attack of opportunity. <gasps> okay. Now all we got to do is live through one round of everybody looking at Asterion. Is it possible? Not with 15 AC, probably not. Probably not possible. 
I can always res him after though. And everyone resets out of this room. There's none of these guys that idle in here. So he's being the anchor for my team right now. Lots of ranged attacks coming in from that room. Wait a minute. That probably wouldn't work. Oh, if it did work, that would be so crazy good though. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. And if he dies here, I'm completely out. So I'm not gonna do it anymore if he dies. But to, in Divinity, how this used to work, Larian's previous game, is if you did his own thing like this and then you came back, you'd be brought into the turn order uh, based off your initiative. Okay, if he's down, I'm not doing it. So what I was thinking is maybe we could bring Shoutheart upstairs, let her get an attack off at the very beginning of a round, and then we do some big damage, like do a Radiance of the Dawn or something out there. Um, what? Huh, huh. hey, where'd you guys come from? Huh. Well, I didn't see that. I didn't see that coming. Uh, Shadowheart is pretty weak here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. One, two, three, four enemies. I bet the, di the, the eye saw me. That has to be what happened here. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. I know what we're going to do. We are going to... I just need to make sure Dungan survives this turn. Um. Um. If I could get these guys together and cast Confusion, that would do me a lot of good, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. I do have Hold Person. 40% chance to hit right now. Let me attack like crazy this turn. We're gonna do a slashing flourish. Shit, I have disadvantage. Because we're threatened. Using another gust of wind feels a little excessive and there's also no guarantee that he moves. But if he does, Dungan's gonna pop the fuck off. All right, now with a little bit of extra room, slashing flourish into a slashing flourish. I'm gonna hit the caster behind us too. Hopefully that dealt damage to both of them. Looks like it only hit one. He's feared, so he can't advance. Dungan's going to tuck into the corner and we're gonna end that turn right there. We see a good opportunity for another swirly whirlies. And we're gonna take that and stand on this corner with it. That way, when these melee dudes come down, they will run right into us. Minthara already used her main action here, and we're very thankful for it. Uh, she is just going to tuck into the corner here with Dungan, I think, and we're going to call that a turn. Guardian of Faith, counterspell. It probably won't work. Don't react. Okay, luckily it was only on Dungan. That could have been worse. Dungan is probably going to take a hit here. The Zealot frightened Shadowheart, so she's not able to advance forward. Slowed Minthara. And what are you gonna do? Frightened Dungan. Okay. 20 damage being done to Dungan there. Um, Shadowheart is going to drink one of those really big potions in Dungan's inventory. Glad I got them. And we are going to press the advantage. Oh, I can't move at all. Uh, let's go ahead and Sacred Flame instead then. You know what? Let's use the Sunbeam. We can hit all three here. There we go. That'll also get radiating orbs out and about for me. I like how the scrying eye took no fucking damage, that piece of shit. Okay, that made our party a lot safer. Just having those orbs out is pretty big. Uh, Dungan, is he threatened? Yes, he is. If I take a step back, oh, I can't move at all because we're frightened. Okay, we're gonna just do a slashing flourish then. Wait, I can't even hit the target. No line of sight whatsoever. 
you dastardly devil. I could upcast an ice knife. If I do a level three ice knife, it could do quite a lot of damage to this guy. 16 damage, not enough for the kill. I am gonna use my flight to zoom into Shadow Hearts area if I can. There we go. We'll end our turn right there. Uh, Dungan can't shoot. He can't move. Uh, if he stays here, he's probably going to die. So let's not let him stay here. We're going to drink a potion. And when I say stay, I mean that loosely, of course. We're going to go invisible. Now, I don't think the Guardian can detect me. Big miss onto Minthara from the radiating orb spawned in by the caster on the right side. Hopefully they just forget I exist over here. He already attacked, so he can't search for enemies there either. Oh, one thing I did not consider is these weapons have increased range. So they didn't need to walk into the Swirly Whirly to deal damage to Minthara there. I didn't think about that at all. This guy is looking for Dungan. There's a big chance he finds him, but they didn't. He's hidden in the corner. Whoa, Smite actually fucking hit Shadowheart. Oh God. Okay. Okay. Okay, is everybody good? I am actually really close to losing my party here. This is one of the closer fights we've ever had. Another guard just got pulled in. We're drinking a potion and we are going to cast Radiance of the Dawn. Hits everybody here, actually. Good, 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 good. So that's a huge survivability increase for us. Uh, this guy just died. So if I could kill him, I'd be pretty happy. If I could kill him again, he had his cheat death thing. <sighs> Is Dungan still afraid? No, yes. So I can't move. So Dungan's just gonna stay invisible for this turn, I think. Minthara is going to try to kill the caster. 64% chance to hit. They didn't die earlier, they died right there. That's really shitty. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Nothing else I could do to do any damage, huh? All right. Dungan could attack on his turn. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's try, I could try this and it's really ballsy. It could not work very easily, but a glyph of sleep placed at the perfect spot doesn't hit Dungan. Put the mage to sleep. Then, could I Misty Step onto the stairs and leave? Oh! No targets out here. No targets out here. We just resurrect the burned vampire. Could we short rest? No, okay, we can't short rest. But you could drink some potions and then we could get you right back in there, bud. You're gonna be in tip top fighting form. It's like nothing even happened to you. He's really gonna have to, he, these potions aren't even gonna be enough. He has so much HP. Oh my God. So I think we only put the caster to sleep, which is not great, but Starion's ready to go and he goes right back in. Man, it'd be great if I got a turn right away. Warding Flare, it looks like Shadowheart just went down. Oh God. Oh God, our front line is in the dirt. So what happened while I was away? This guy ended up moving somehow. Something woke him up. Okay. Uh, Asterion's gonna rage. We are going to hit can I cleave? Yes, I can. I'm gonna cleave both these guys. Reckless, just hit one. This guy's completely frozen, so he can't attack. I'm gonna try again, same two. Killed one, but the other's very weak. Now Minthara on her turn 
is going to attempt to kill the other with an ice bolt. Never mind, too much of a disadvantage. Kill the one next to you. You know what? Fuck it. Smite, dude. There we go. There we go. Okay. And we'll just move that way a little bit. Somehow the warden got pulled into this fight. As if it wasn't fucking hard enough already. Uh, Duncan's going to drink some more cheap-ass potions. If he has any. <laughs> I have 30 more. Okay. Yeah, I have a couple. <laughs> if... I go invisible again. Oh my God, this is a per battle ability. Wait a minute, if I go invisible again, can I then walk down here? Not be in combat? <gasps> ah! Oh no, I took damage from the brine. Oh, that was almost such a good play. Oh God damn it. I was gonna help Shadowheart up. That was gonna be so good. All right, well, Minthara's gonna end her turn right there. Asterion already did his. Now we see the caster moving up with the warden. Psionic backlash. I did take 14 damage there. And al also an, an arrow of anti-healing shot at me as well. Thunder is smite on Asterion, does half of his health and damage. Oh God. Oh, God. Okay, we are going to drink a very, very large potion. And we're going to swing at the guy in front of Asterion recklessly. It connects. He's dead. We swing at the next guy. It connects. He's dead. Then we need to threaten the warden. We just need to crowd him. Fuck me. There's two more guys coming up. Fuck me, there's three more guys coming up. Wait, how did he come back? Wait, did he just zone in from the other area? Fuck! Okay. We are going to... We're gonna move out of this, then throw a heal at Shadowheart. Shadowheart is going to sanctuary herself and run at these guys. Uh, that is going to be her turn. Minthara threw a potion, so she can't do much of anything else. I could get some spell slots back. Let's do that. Let's do that. I want a level three spell. Okay. Um, let me move her out so she could be a target. Because she has the best AC of anyone here. Then Dungan on his turn. What are my chances of just straight up CCing this guy? Not good. So let me shoot an arrow of many targets. At the Warden. Counterspell the Hellish Rebuke. That's 30 fucking damage, potentially. No way it does 30 damage. Uh, and then I'm going to do a Slashing Flourish. Probably onto this dude. Both shots. Just straight up kill him. Get him out of the fight. I still have a bonus action. With it, I could do... Uh, I can't do too much. Can't do too much. Okay. Okay. Let me line of sight with Dungan so we don't get shot by anything. I feel like this fight slowed way the fuck down. Like my tempo in these fights. Uh, attack of opportunity. Got a little more dire than I thought it was gonna be. Hunger of Hadar. I think we don't counterspell it. Just deal damage. Because the leader's in here, right? Isn't he in the hunger? I need healing. Okay, 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 okay. We're holding, we're holding, we're holding. We're holding, we're holding, we're holding. She's going to drink a very large potion. She is then going to cast Swirly Whirlies. Yeah, it's 
and run it down. Uh, Asterion is going to jump out of this and run it down. We still don't know where the warden is. I just assume he's in that shit. We're going to cleave these guys recklessly. Cleave them recklessly. That actually broke the concentration. We would have killed this guy if it wasn't for his death immunity. Um, might be able to kill him now. Let's fire off. Ray of Frost. Good, that got rid of the Spirit Guardian too. Okay, Duncan's gonna step out and he's gonna kill this stupid ass thing before it calls for more reinforcements. Wait, this is happening again. Why is this happening? Why is it immune to damage? Okay, it's immune to physical. Thunder damage is doubled. Okay, hold <laughs> All right, you bitch. <laughs> this is wait that doesn't actually do thunder wait i don't think i have anything that does actual thunder damage with arrows i'm gonna have to send a Starion after this i think i have a lightning one well all right we'll do our last slashing flourish if i can on the main guy here on the stairs 35 percent chance to hit is not good but we'll take it one of them hit 25 damage the Warden is somewhere in snaring melee attack on Dungan. We're going to Backlash and Warding Flare. Nice. He did get hit for 10 damage there from the follow-up swing, though. The final of the Zealots on the stairs hits a Starion for too much damage. And he is down once more. He's my only way of killing these stupid screaming things, so we really need to get him up soon. Um, let me just start my turn by doing that. We're just gonna help him up. And then we're gonna walk into this dude. The more we can do to get radiating orbs on him, the safer our Asterian's going to be. I don't think I'm gonna bother healing him though. I genuinely don't think that's gonna do anything for him. Now, don't get me wrong. He could heal himself. Let's go ahead and bite this guy. Bonus action is still in good. Is still good. Got a bloodless thing. Sweet. Um, I'm gonna have Minthara. <gasps> We're gonna unend Starion's turn. We're gonna have Minthara twin haste. Oh, can she not? Does that take two spell slots? Okay, what if we just do a regular haste? We'll just do a regular haste then. I kind of want to put it on Asterion. Because I think he can kill that guy in front of him. But, can't go wrong. Jesus Christ, there's a new guard. Can't go wrong with Dungan, though. Can't go wrong with Dungan. I did it. Okay, and then we're falling back. We, gotta pr we have to protect that... Concentra or that concentration at all costs. So I have disadvantage because I'm ensnared, which sucks. I didn't see that coming. Let me shoot the shit out of this guy. He's frightened, so he can't move at me. Let me shoot. Try to shoot that. No, that won't work. It literally won't land. What if I cast hold person? 85% chance. He fucking saved. Wow. Wow. Wow, I can't believe he saved. I cannot believe he saved. Okay, we drink another potion, and we are going to end his turn right there. Astarian already used his bonus action. Uh, we're good. We're good. We're good. Dungan's likely going to take a big hit here. Lightning arrow. Hopefully, we can help protect him. Four damage still goes through. The Warden is moving back into range of my team. Astarian goes down again and then goes down again again with that smite landing true. He has fallen once more, twice in the same video. Call reinforcements still happening. Shadowheart moves into the room again. 
Oh my fucking god. This is getting really bad. Um, Dungan is still ensnared. Okay. Uh, where's the warden? Behind me. Okay. I'm going to have to come up with something. Let me think. Okay. Minthara's going to focus everything she has onto the warden. Warden is number one target for her. If I can get another attack off like that, he's going to be frozen and miss out on a turn. We're then going to take Shadowheart and move her into the room a little bit more. With her turn, we are going to cast Radiance of the Dawn. Oh, I wish I could take another step forward. I'm still going to cast it. I still think it's worth Gets the debuff onto that melee guy. Could potentially explode to deal more damage. We broke the concentration of ensnaring shot, which means Dungan is now free to move about the cabin. Now, unfortunately, I can't do too much with my attacks right now. Because we're hasted, what I can do though is something like this, where I do a arrow of many targets. Shoot at these guys, right to left. They are now frightened, at least some of them are. So they're not moving towards me. I can then use the arcane acuity that I built up there to do something like hold person and actually have it work. The problem is our main guy that would then go in and do the hold person damage, which is Starion is down on the ground, but I'm still gonna cast it. We're gonna hold person. 100% chance to land because of our arcane acuity. I'm going to push towards Shadow Hearts because I want to be in the swirly whirly. And then I'm going to shoot this guy with everything else I have for this turn. We have advantage on every shot. He can't move. So we landed it. Dung is going to end his turn right there. Uh, Shadow Heart is going to cast a level two heal on him. Seven health. <laughs> <laughs> Was that more than I got with the level three earlier? And I think that's the best I can do. So he can't do anything. We see an abjure enemy frightened. He went for not even me. That's great. Charm. Awesome. So he can't attack Minthara anymore either. He comes into the swirly whirlies and he dies. Okay, now the three zealots coming down the stairs. We need we need to deal with them. Uh, how we're gonna deal with them is shit. I can't move. Okay, this is turning really, really bad. It's because of these stupid call reinforcements just over and over and over again. Okay. Let me think. <laughs> I am still hasted. I'm going to use the haste I have to kill the warden. Hopefully in two shots. That's a miss. I have to kill the warden. Okay. I thought I would have another shot. I don't, and that kind of sucks. Uh, Dungan is going to hold his ground, though. I'm not going to move. We're going to stay next to Shadowheart. Shadowheart cannot move forward. We're going to cast a wall of goddamn fire underneath this area these motherfuckers keep coming from, and we're just going to bring it over there like that. That way, they are taking passive damage all the time. Stop fucking crowding me. I hate it. Now, that actually broke the Frighten, which I'm surprised. Did that also break my Swirly Whirlies because it's a concentration? Yes, it did. Uh, that's okay. Let's go crowd these guys. Heading there. Let's just be really close to them so they don't move too much. We're then just gonna start to hit him. Ray of Frost into the fire. It missed. Good damage. We have a fall. Uh, attack of opportunity. Abjure enemy, he feared Dungan, so Dungan can't move. I think how this fight has to go is eventually we just push back up the stairs and try to make it out there. 
because literally they just keep spawning enemies on me from that same direction. And it's from these stupid fucking things that I can't kill. So, um, that's gonna be easier said than done. Let's do a sacred flame right in the middle. The idea being if it lands, it spreads to everyone else in the area too. Perfect. Uh, we are then going to have Minthara cast Ray of Frost again on literally anyone who steps forward. We're just going to keep spreading more and more and more ice in this area. And Dungan is just going to keep fucking blasting. Anything he can shoot, he's going to shoot it. I do have nine stacks of Arcane Acuity again, though. Which means I could do something like Hypnotic Pattern, and it's very likely to actually hit everyone. Or I could cast Confusion in an area like this, and that won't affect Shadowheart in any way. Most of these guys are now confused, and I can still shoot a little bit, even though I'm kind of frightened still. Confusion could, could cause these guys to completely give up their turns. It could cause them to... Um, you know, attack each other, do nothing. He's confused. Let's see what happens. We took a little bit of fire damage. Thunderous Smite on the Adept. So he's attacking his friend, and I can still do Psionic Backlash damage. Nice! He killed one of the Zealots for us, and then he burned alive. Good. Another one burned alive. This guy's confused. Attack of Opportunity. Okay. Okay. Please do not call any more reinforcements. I can't fucking deal with it. Uh, we are going to... Did we just get another one? No. Uh, I'm going to... Sacred Flame again. Right in the middle. Get more of those radiating orbs. We're going to put some more ice down. Hopefully it did miss. So Duncan has to kill this target. That was a 12% chance to land and he just did it. And then he just does it again. Okay, we are slowly winning, I think. Let me drink another potion. I should probably drink one on Shadowheart too, let's be honest. Let's just be, you could drink a small one. He's confused, attacking his friend. Don't help him. <laughs> 22 damage from the fire. Attack of opportunity. Oh, I wonder if the, the oh, fire damage. Concentration broken on the wall of fire. Big hit onto Shadowheart 2, pushing her deeper into the room. There can't be more reinforcements. There literally can't be. There liter there's no units left to reinforce. So we're moving up. We are going to cast Ray of Frost. It's a critical hit. Then Minthara doesn't have enough movement to get to the stairs. Dungan's moving to the stairs. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Not enough movement to leave. Okay, okay. I'm getting Dungan out right now, and he's gonna go to camp, and I'm gonna pay Withers to respawn Asterion. That way Asterion comes back here, and he's not stuck in that fucking room. Oh my God, he even got healed to full health too. Look at that. Is his weapon still buffed? It sure is. Okay, group these two up. Group these two up, here we go. We're leaving camp. We're going back in. I know, back in is probably not what you expected, but I'm gonna kill those stupid eyeballs so they can't call in any more reinforcements ever again. Uh, all we have to do is get Astarian to hit these things once, and that should be enough to kill it. He does, uh, he's our only source of thunder damage right now. Just in case we do have more enemies coming in, I'm just gonna have Shadowheart stand right here, and we're gonna guard the door. Of course we got a new guard. He shows up immediately as I go to do my turn. So he gets a free attack of opportunity when he didn't even fucking exist a second ago. Reckless! Five damage, we did it. Do it again. Stay on this thing, don't let it leave. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, I thought Dungan was a guard for a second. I was like, there's two guards here. Fantastic. Let's just Sacred Flame. Um, Ray of Frost. I'm going to get Dungan off of the ice if you can. This guy doesn't have a reaction anymore, so we'll just start shooting him. 35% chance seems really low, but the Frightened did hit. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Yes! <laughs> what a small victory. These stupid eyeballs are the most dangerous enemy here, I swear to God, dude. 10 radiating orbs, he's not hitting anything. All of the ice just melted at once for some reason. Don't worry, it's back. It's back. It's just out of range. It's gonna call in more reinforcements. It's just out of range. It's still gonna call it, I know they are. Sometimes Hold on, hold on. Take it. <laughs> Two damage, oh my God. Ah! Come on, can't stay idle. Called reinforcements. Let's see if it's actually true. Swig! Swig! Oh my god, one more turn. Unless I can pummel it. Okay, okay, okay. One more, you got it, dude, you got it, you got it. Come on! Ah! Holy shit. There is work to do. This turned into so much more of a war than I thought it would. We're gonna short rest. Uh. <sighs> Goodness gracious. Did we literally fight every guard in here? I think we did. The wall of fire was really good there. I'm not gonna lie, there was a moment where I was like, crap, we could actually lose everyone this turn. Uh, I know temporary hostile is still probably in effect, but I'm gonna bring everyone out here and we'll just take a quick gander. Looks like Roa's good. Looks like these guards are good. That should mean, hopefully, that the only people that are still mad at me are the ones out here in the attendance hall. And they are grouped up in front of the door. Wow, we did actually get the guards from out here. So I think this is the final guard actually remaining that's hostile against me. I don't, I'm not gonna say final answer for a million dollars, but I think it's pretty likely. Which means we've officially beaten Moonrise Towers. <laughs> the hardest way possible, I think. As an agent of the absolute two, let's not forget that these are my friends and I'm trying to work with them. That's important. It's important to remember. Oh, I let him do another turn. Wait. <laughs> I'm good right upstairs still. Let me double check. Let me double check. Yeah, we are totally good upstairs. Everyone still likes me. It was just those guards from before that we had to fix. Oh my goodness. This all happened once again because Minthara walked too far away from my party. Everything we did today was a direct result of that one action. I can't believe that. I really, I really can't, that's ridiculous. Oh yeah, the guards that were in here were called in. Yeah, I think we did it. Another one of these stupid reinforcement things, but that's not temporary, or that's not hostile either. Oh my goodness, we did it. We're back on track with our campaign. Sorry for this detour. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was tense. I know, you know, some people could take full combat episodes or leave them, but we just had to do this. Uh, next episode, we're probably heading down to the Dark Justiciers. I hope to see you all there.